Hey guys, RC here, back with another video in our Let's Play series. This one today we are playing our historical fictional league, playing Out of the Park version 18, Out of the Park Baseball. Uh, we're playing with the Phillies. We are not very good. Uh, we are in my first year with the club, and uh, hopefully you've seen the rest of the series so far on how we came to choose the Phillies, but we have uh, about a decade of history built up. And currently, we are dead last. Uh, certainly not the worst team in professional baseball, but pretty close. Uh, actually, the Yankees were another team that we were looking at taking over, and they actually have the worst record, as do the Red Sox, both of which were teams that I was considering. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get back into it. We are on August 10th, so let's go out a week. Uh, eligible to come off the DL. Relief pitcher, 292. Let me take a look here. Alright, day to day. Let's see. I'm going to put him in. Let's put him in AAA for right now. And then we'll go into pitching. AAA. Ask for staff. He gets put into a setup role. All right, that'll work. Looks like we'll have somebody else coming off the DL here in a moment. Yep, Jordan Garcia. 4-6 and six with a 2-1-1 ERA. So let's pop in here. Actually, let me look at my staff. Ramirez. Was it? Oh, it was Linares. Three starts. So yeah, Linares was a first-round pickup uh, signee in 65. He just got his call up. And... He was in relief here. This is where we put him into the starting rotation. I'm not sure why he's only lasting three innings. Partly cloudy, no rain delay. Four hits, 53 pitches. The only thing I can think no pitch count limit, no, no hooks. Hmm. So, yeah, no. Not sure why. Not sure why he is uh, getting yanked out of there so quick. He's got a six stamina. I like how he's looking so far, so I want to keep him there. Let's. How am I doing on this side? Johnson, but he's my primary backup at first. Roca, but I need he's my prime he's my only backup there. Ferrar. I can send Ferrar down. Alright, and then that allows me to bring up Garcia. But then I need to redo my depth charts and redo my staff. All right, so Garcia goes up to the top of the order of the rotation. 
Linares actually falls to fifth. Okay, there we go. And Monday. So let's jump into the schedule first. All right, so we ended up with a 5-1 win over the Astros. Ramirez, solid outing. Schwab, good relief. Chapman picked up the win. Tomlin. Johnson got his ninth home run of the season. All right, so that's good. Shutout, loss, 14-1 to victory. Wow. So Garcia, that was his first game back. Solid outing. Haskell. Rosales with a home run. Ruth, number nine on the season. And then a 13-4 to loss and a 2 nothing win. That's Linares. Now, he lasted seven in this one. Two hits, no runs. He's pitching really well. He's pitching really well. Now, you know, this could be one of those things that it's the first time people are seeing him. They don't have a book on him yet. Um, because he had a 482 in 69. But he was, you know, solid low threes. I don't expect a 1-1-4, but, you know, if he could stay in the threes, that would still be a win. Mid to high, mid-90s, ground ball. I think we've got to, you know, we need to put a solid defense behind that. But that's actually a solid, uh, solid outing. So let's uh, check the emails. All right. Marcos Pagan, done for the season. A torn labrum. Jose Porras, a torn UCL. He's done for the year. Carl Edlin of the Angels went 5 for 5. AL Player of the Week, Brian Long from the Orioles. And Justin Johnson, catcher for the Braves. The five most experienced players, the most Major League service time. And... We are up to, we're number 22. The Expos actually plummeted this week. All right, so let's check the standings. Let's look at the Expos real quick. So they went 0-10. Wow! An 11-game losing streak. Wow! That's rough. Now, we're 4-6, we're and six, so we're still 26 and a half out. Three up on the Yankees for the worst record in the league. The Red Sox actually got in front of us with a 5-5 five and five, uh, in their last 10. Let's go ahead and play out the next week. Personal message. We are to Monday. All right. A five-hit day for Willie Nino at uh, the Royals. Joe Hodge got his 2,000th career hit. He's 36, a shortstop for the White Sox and the Red Sox. Four for six. A career 318 average, 273 homers, and 1,171 RBIs. Joe Hodge is also on a 20-game hit streak. John Dunn, a five-hit day. All right, Chandler Ruth got hurt. Bruce Thigh day to day. Angel Min Min Minivar, I think I pronounced that right. I hope so. Minivar uh, is going to retire at the end of the season. He's 36. He's hitting a buck 50 in 20 games this year, and he's a career 265 hitter. 56 homers. Looks like Hodge's hit streak ended. And Jesse Johnson, not happy. Uh, he's 39, guy. Come on, man. And you're hitting 222. So he wants to be traded, but we're after the trading deadline. That's okay. AL Player of the Week is Hodge. NL Player of the Week is Mark Elio of the Cardinals. 
And we are still third in the power rankings. Now the Yankees, the Yankees look like they jumped up pretty high, up to number 16. Expos get out of the cellar and the White Sox fall down into the cellar. Uh, let's see, we finished reading all those. Yes. Standings. Greg Barte. I know who that is. Uh, so let's see, the Yankees, 50 wins. So they've almost caught us in the record. Boston fell back one. We're 6-4. and four. We're actually uh, tied with them in the win column, but three behind in the loss column. So we're still looking for that, uh, oh, excuse me, number one overall pick if we can get it. Uh, but Chicago's making a run for it as well. So we're in good company here at the, at the end of the uh, order. Jordan Garcia, still one of the league leaders in ERA. That's good. Uh, did we go through the games this week? No, we did not. All right, so 5-2 to two win. Shaver, really solid outing. Dyke got the win in uh, extra innings. Haskell the save. Johnson, his 10th home run. 15-5 to five over the Braves. Tolefson gets to 500. Altimus, his 8th homer. Woodford, his 4th. Big game for us, run production. 6 nothing loss. Then we get a win. McClure climbs over 500. Burke's home run number three. White, uh, I'm sorry, Chevere, another good outing, but another no decision. Dyke, out of relief, gets the win. No homers that game. And a couple of losses to the Astros. All right. So, again, currently uh, 25 games back, but a, a winning sim. I mean, you know, right now, honestly, that's the that's kind of the goal right now is to have um, – let's see, Ferrar. third base all right so he's gonna ge get into the starting lineup that's kind of the goal is uh, just to have you know every 10 games try to be 500 or better all right um, all right here we go a no-hitter. Jordan Garcia threw a no-hitter for us. Holy cow. All right, well, we've definitely got to view the box score. Complete game. Remember, he just came off of the uh, DL here recently. No hits, no runs, no errors, just two walks. Very nice. The g Oh, that's a cheap one, though. Six innings. Ooh. So here's the question. Does it count as a no-hitter to you? Does it count as a no-hitter to you if he only went six innings and the game got called? Wow. Interesting. I don't know how I feel about that. I, I don't know how I feel about that. I got to say that doesn't count to me. If you don't go a full game, even though the game counts, if it doesn't count, go the distance does it count I don't know interesting interesting all right Rocky Bland uh, 26 year old AL player of the week George Escamilla Mets 29 NL player of the week Isaiah Gray of the Reds is 24 his season ends six months with shoulder inflammation and we, wow, we climb up to 16th. What a run for us. So I'm guessing we might have had a big week this week. 
So first off, let's hop into the schedule. Well, you know, not a gr well, you know, heck, four and one this week. I I'll take that. Two nothing over the uh, Reds. Garcia with the win. That was that that shortened no hitter. All right. Then we got a three one win. Did we win both games by three to one? That's weird. It showed that we had two games. Okay, so maybe we got two wins that day. I really don't like the way that the uh, double headers show in here. Shaver gets a, a really solid win. Dykes number 20 on the save calendar. A 3-2 to two loss, so at least it was competitive. And an 8-3 to three win. Tolison gets back to 500. No power in these couple of games. 3-1 to one win. Garcia, no decision. Dyke got the win in the ninth inning. Altimus reached 10 homers. Roka his third of the season. All right. Let's go. Uh, let's take a look at the overall standings. So we are on a 7-3 run. Two-game win streak. We're only a game behind the Pirates now. Shoot, we're, we're a game and a half from fourth place with the Expos, and we're tied in the win column. So that's crazy. Look how quick that's turned around. Wow. And the Astros, we've done pretty well against them, and they're the division leaders in the West. That's, that's kind of nuts. Even Cincinnati's, uh, you know, above 500, so we're actually winning games against pretty solid teams. And we've passed over the Yankees and the Red Sox, and the White Sox. Wow. So yeah, we're we're about to fall out of the top ten in the draft if we're not careful. All right, today is the last day of the month, so let's do let's do the one day to get there. Boom. All right. All right. Let's see. Roster expansion. All right. Pit, hitter of the month. Uh, Josh Luthner of the Indians. John Brunkow of the Cardinals for the NL. Starter of the month is uh, Valerio Gandera of the Orioles. Ryan Godbout of the Cardinals. Rookie of the month, Marty Huckabee and Ben Roberts. So nobody from our teams, but that's okay. All right, we'll delete those. Uh, let's finish going through... Let's kind of take a look at our 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 team here. All right, so Garcia six and seven, one ninety nine ERA, but down the bottom of our lineup, five and five, seven and five. These guys have all fought back to five hundred. Uh, Garcia, did he lose here recently? Pitching stats, game log. All right, yeah, he had lost this one to uh, he he lost that six nothing game. Remember, I'm not looking at the losses, so I don't remember all of those. Um, Twelfth in runs scored, third in runs against. So our pitching's really keeping us in this, big time. Uh, we we we're, we're not hitting well. Ninth in batting average, 12th in on-base percentage, 12th in home runs, 2nd in starter ERA, 8th in bullpen, and 2nd in defensive efficiency. So we're playing good defense, we're pitching well, we're just not hitting worth a darn. All right, with that in mind then, let's take a gander at, at our minors. All right, let's move him up. Let's put him on the DL. I mean, he's only hitting 220. Is there anything recently that he's doing well? 
182, 313, 182. Okay, uh, I'm not seeing a reason to move him up, uh, even stat-wise. So we're going to leave him there. All right, Darren, Damian Thompson, 22. Two, uh, yep, not sure who that is. Damian Thompson, do we want to give him a call up? He's got good speed. He's got a good arm. He could really play defense in right field. Got a little bit of a bat. Possible home run potential, but not really. Just that one year. Well, 14 this year. 14 this year. Um, hmm. What's my outfield look like? Let me take a look over there real quick. All right, I've got Ben Kilpatrick. Now, he's hitting 271, and he's young, 25. David Johnson's 24. Frank Burks is 25. So I've really got a young core there. 27, 28, 26, 26, 24. I've got a really young offense here. I mean, really young. Really young. Um, hmm. Tell you what, I've got a couple of voicemails I need to check. Some of them are important. I know one of them's important. I need to return. Let me come back in the next episode. We'll kind of pick up with our review right here. Uh, guys, thanks for checking us out. Sorry for having to cut a couple of minutes off the end here, but we'll come back uh, and I'll record another one here uh, today for sure, and uh, that way we don't miss anything right here. Appreciate it. Bye.